Uh, as I said yesterday, we are witnessing the death throes of the Gaddafi regime in Libya. We, of course, don't know how long that will take. Uh, we've seen some scenes of, of jubilation, of celebration, uh, of the, the fall of the compound of the, of the Gaddafi regime. There is a, a clear, fundamental, decisive rejection of that regime uh, by the people of Libya. And the regime has clearly lost control of, uh, of most of the capital and much of the country. I think it is time now for Colonel Gaddafi to stop issuing delusional statements and to recognize that that has happened, uh, that control of the country is not going to return. Uh, he should be telling his dwindling and remaining forces now to stand down. Uh, so I think that is what now needs to happen. Uh, we welcome the statements of the National Transitional Council, who I think are approaching this absolutely in the right spirit and with the right statements, pointing to an inclusive uh, interim government, a clear political process for the future uh, in Libya. And we welcome the fact that uh, they have stated their intention uh, to move some of their officials or ministers to Tripoli as soon as possible. We think it's very important uh, for them to do that. Britain's role will continue. We continue to be uh, highly actively engaged uh, in the NATO operations, which must continue as long as there is a need to protect the civilian population uh, of Libya. So our involvement in those operations continues. Uh, as does, of course, our involvement in providing immediate humanitarian assistance, such as the medical supplies we've supplied uh, through the World Health Organization, uh, being ready to give other humanitarian assistance, and diplomatically we're engaged at the United Nations and elsewhere uh, to pave the way for the unfreezing of assets, the, the assets that have been frozen for five months but which ultimately belong uh, to the Libyan people. Uh, so there is a lot to do. And there will continue to be a lot to do over the coming weeks and months. This will remain a difficult situation for some time. And Britain will show the same patient strength in helping the people of Libya uh, that we have shown over the last five months.